State Park and learned a lot about bridges today. Still a lot more to learn. Wind picked up. That was not fun. But we've made it to the end of day one. Well, at least the sailing part of day one. Just super awesome. Super excited. So many emotions. But so excited. And ready to get off the water and have some time to relax and up in my cabin. That was a lot more wind than I was expecting. But man, I'm glad to be in some calm water right now. And I'm hoping, really crossing my fingers, that it's calmed down tonight. Welcome to Oleta River State Park, just north of Miami, Florida. Here we go. Let the adventure begin. One day of travel down, 99 to go. Today was difficult in some regards because the wind was strong. They even declared a small craft advisory <laughs> about 30 minutes being into the trip. So that was fun. Made good time, like did nine miles and oh, what did we do? Three hours, nine miles in three hours, so it's pretty good, I think. Get ready for tomorrow. This is serious glamping here in a cabin, but it's what worked. It was shared to me. I found this uh, was suggested through the Florida Circumnavigational Paddling Guide, uh, which is done through the, uh, I think it's through Florida Parks and Rec. Anyway, I'll like, can link down to that book down in the description. They've got a really awesome kind of help guide to those that want to do a paddle all the way around Florida. Now, I just am using the book for the East Coast of it, but they still have really awesome information about where to sleep, places to go check out, things to keep in mind. Now, it's more for kayakers than for what I'm doing, but as you already know, if you've watched my other videos, 
my content's a little, this boat is a little bit different from a kayak, but also not quite a sailboat. So you have to put a bunch of different information together. It hasn't set in yet that this project's really started. Um, there was some emotion getting off the dock, but I don't think that this, the real emotions that this trip has started is gonna set in until probably a, almost a week from now, I would think. Cause part of me, part of it just feels like it's just another shakedown like we had at the beginning of February. I think for these also videos going forward for the YouTube channel, I want to, rather than doing every single day, we're probably gonna do like week montages, um, which will probably cover like three or four different locations so that we don't have insane amounts of editing on my end as well as I want to be able to focus on the project and the actual capturing of the stories for this project but I just wanted to check in this feels uh pretty exciting that's for sure and I'm hoping to get on the water early tomorrow morning it doesn't help that I have to go drop my key off at the ranger station which is a 15 minute walk away Say love you. Thanks so much, guys. I'll see you out on the water. Good morning, everybody. Day two here at Oleta River State Park. We're heading towards Dania Beach Marina today. Apologies for all the uh, coverings. There's possibility of rain today as well as the noceum bugs are pretty bad. And saying this is only day one, I feel like it's only get worse from here. So gotta stay covered up to get it out as many of the bugs as possible. What we got here, boat's still here. That's good. We uh, uh, can't tie up to the mangroves here because they're a protected species. So I used an anchor and the boat used to be on the other side of that stump. That's where I left it last night. Now it is on this side of the stump. Not entirely sure how that happened, other than it had to have floated all the way up and over, which would have been pretty crazy. Man, lots of planes today too. So we're gonna get packed up get on the water, go return my key to the ranger station, and we'll get on the water. Here we are, ready to go. Let's get out on the water. Tide has definitely come in. Being coming out on a high tide and, and going with a lowering tide, hopefully that should be good. But we'll see. I'm hoping these bugs get better. So they were originally calling for like 15 mile an hour gusting to like 18 this morning. But I think also the fact that the dark clouds that you guys just saw are kind of messing with that a little bit. Because it's been really punchy. And what I mean by punchy is that it'll be nothing, nothing, very little, and then a gust, and then nothing, and nothing, and nothing. And we're kind of been sitting in one of these lulls for a while. So it's more a lot more pedaling this morning than I was expecting, which is fine. Warm up the legs. But even though it's warm, I wanna keep the rain gear on because those dark clouds are gonna bring rain and I don't wanna be caught out, not covered. That was yesterday. 
not covered because it was warm. And I was like, oh, I'll take it off. But then I got splashed and now it's a new day, new day. Continuing to learn things. Uh, this bucket's slowly becoming my like quick access area. Keeps things relatively dry. But I've got my binoculars, my anemometer, and my speaker all in there, my notepad. Let's see how things shift over time. Welcome to North Miami Beach, everybody. Let's have another wonderful day. Enjoy the view. We were in such a serene state park last night. And it's crazy to think how many millions of people live just a couple of miles away from that state park. It felt remote. And yet, look at these high rides. Absolutely massive high rises. Number seven is welcome to Waterdale Beach. So we did it. We landed at Danny Beach Marina down at the Transient Dock. And we got a long walk back to the dock house. It is an absolutely gorgeous day. Much better than yesterday. Interesting that it's only about 18 feet under the bridge to get to this marina, so I think I'm the only sailboat here. Kind of cool. Maybe I'll meet some lots of different kinds of people. Let's go get checked in. Maybe we'll hit the beach. Wow. The kindness of people is incredible. So, I'm not getting charged for my dockage either night. Now, there's some caveats to that. But the dock that I'm at is courtesy dock, so I can basically be there until 11 o'clock. They said basically undock, run across to the beach, literally like a hundred feet away, sleep there, and then come back tomorrow. And he's like, I'm not gonna charge you. If you need to take a shower, let me know. I'll come get you. Or I'll come let you in. That's awesome. Oh, you know, there are some great people in this world. He's like, I don't want to take your money. Oh, I appreciate that. So definitely gonna see him tomorrow get him some stickers and see what we can do but at that point i'm docked up let's figure out what we want to do for the rest of the day maybe go to the beach morning everybody we are starting our day with a little bit of a rain shower literally started like 30 seconds after we left the dock this morning don't know if that's a good sign or not get the rain out of the way now it's actually cooling things off a little bit and we're clearing the bridge we like clearing the bridge i was talking to the dock master and turns out i am one of the only sailboats who ever come into that marina because that's a fixed bridge with a minimum clearance of 17 feet and most sailboats don't fit that so that was really interesting um being a sailboat and amongst a bunch of motor boaters we're heading out into the channel now maybe even go by a cruise ship although a lot of the cruise ships, cruise ships have actually been grounded because what other big things going on right now the coronavirus so I guess this was of all times for me to go and do this big adventure. I guess now's a decent time, not interacting with as many people. But 
I hope you all are having a wonderful week. We are 40, starting day four now. This will probably be going up in a couple weeks. I'm probably a week or two ahead of when these are coming out. So be sure to head on over to climatekayakandconversation.org or find me on Facebook or Instagram and go to the where is will button on the website and you can see where I am right now and just like that the rain has stopped anyway guys let's get a move on we got 16 miles today up to lighthouse point marina figure out what was swimming there. Turns out it was an iguana. Still getting used to iguanas. Secondly, getting used to iguanas swimming. We're pretty much through Port Everglades now. We're definitely in the heart of Port Lauderdale now. Pretty cool. Oh, I'm sick of drinking this piece of oh gosh. Aha! Trying to do my part. Take this piece of trash. I think I need to get one of those little kid nets. Help screw things up. Absolutely gorgeous day. Lots of puffy little clouds. Wind could be a little better, but we're also on the channel. So, hope you all are enjoying this as much as I am. So, one of the downsides of having a sailboat is if your mass is taller, then it's probably 15 feet. Then there are some bridges that you have to wait for. Now, I've been able to skirt under a lot of bridges. But this is the, one of the first ones. Well, I don't know to say. Probably fourth one I've had to wait for open, but as right now, I'm the only one waiting for it. And they only open every half hour. So, like this one opens on the 45 and 15 at the hour. So, we're five minutes away from them opening. Thankfully, I found a nice little eddy to kind of park myself in, so I'm not working too terribly hard. That is one of the realities being on the ICW. These bridges do not open at your will. Ha. Uh, they open on a regular schedule. So if you can plan for it, but if you get there early, then you have to. Which is fine. Gives a nice break, honestly. And it's 15 minutes. It's not gonna make or break anything. Sorry, I'm keeping my head up because I don't want to hit anything. I did a stop at Hugh Taylor. Taylor Birch State Park. That was super cool. Go check that out. It's like a biking trail. Um, and they have a little public dock that I pulled up to so I can do a little walk around social legs, be vertical for a little bit. Okay, Lighthouse Point Marina, super great. Cannot tell you how good it feels to do so many things. I just went swimming in a pool, took a shower, 
about to go do the laundry. I know, super domestic things. But after four days on the water, I cannot tell you how good it feels. So let's continue. All of this good to Montreal. Met some awesome people. Hang out this evening and have some fun.